you will have to understand these distance time graphs and they have good real life applications and you'll have to understand the graph time is always on the horizontal axis and distance is on the vertical axis so this is time after one hour, <coughs> after two hours, <coughs> after three hours and this is distance, how far they travel <coughs> This is from A to B. After one hour, how far was this person gone? 20 kilometers. So that means after one hour, they had traveled 20 kilometers. In the next half of hour from B to C, they were still 20 kilometers away. So how far did they travel from B to C? Zero. In other words, they stopped at this stage. Yes? because between B and C after an hour and a half they're still 20 kilometers away so during that time a horizontal line like that means what? They're at, rest. They're, they're at rest then from C up to D in that half an hour they were 20 kilometers away they're now how many kilometers away? so how far did they go in that half hour from C to D? And the more steep the line, what? The greater the speed. Yes? The greater the speed. From D to E, again you have another horizontal line. What happened? The rest rest. And from E to F, in that half of an hour, they went how many kilometers? 60 kilometers. Yes? Do you understand that? One, what would be the total distance travelled? Let's say this person's on a bike or whatever they're on. How far did they travel? Well, in the first hour, they went how far? 20 kilometres. In the next half hour, they went no kilometers. In the next half of hour, they went what? In the next half hour? And in the final half hour? 60 kilometers to get back to where they started from, basically. That's a total of 60, 120 kilometers. Three, two. What's the average speed? Well, the average speed is the distance divided by the time. What was the total distance they travelled? 120 kilometres. And how long did that take? Three hours. So the average speed was what? 40 kilometres per hour. Yes? Three. What was the speed in the first hour? Well, how do you always work out speed? This